<laughs> Peeling the skin off of the children. Oh. Are, we, are we live, mate? Oh. Yeah, I think we are. <laughs> I mean? think my claps have been drowned out because Michael's laughter. <laughs> Look at the fucker. Look at him. He's, he's a fucking Friday rocks along and he fucking rocks up with a fucking bomb oh. in his hand and he fucking pumps oh. nine of the cunts right before we get started. <laughs> Keeps singing about how it's holidays. Oh, It is holidays. And me and Matt are sitting there like, man, you are so unprofessional. It's Easter though. This is going to be a weird episode. I'm... You guys are so out of control right now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were feeding me then, man. Welcome oh, to episode number nine of the Marty Michael Fully Actual Podcast. This is episode number nine of season four, okay? There are three other seasons before it, and we are nine episodes into this one. That means we're nearly 25% through this ep- season. So get ready for the break. <laughs> 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 man there's been wild shit hey let's get into straight the shit talk man it's been crazy hey, you know remember nord vpn <laughs> <laughs> what hard day what do they hate uh, look no they don't they don't no and way they did not quit no that they they didn't quit they <laughs> they said it. that they would continue for a reduced rate but then I, before answering yes, it's not bad. It's like, you know, it's not a bad rate. But before I said yes, I thought, like, does it... Let's put it to them. I thought we put it to you guys. Does it feel right that we let NordVPN give us money and we sing their praise? Is it annoying a part of the podcast? Yeah, is it is it too much? Because fuck it, man. Leave it to you guys. I'm going to put a comment... From the Marty and Michael account, um, stay with NordVPN, and then another comment, um, leave NordVPN, and whichever one gets the most likes from you guys, that will be the decision. Do you understand? I, I yeah, I don't. Completely gone. <laughs> it's completely so gone. What I'm saying is, there's, there's a voting it. system <laughs> okay. in the comments itself. Does that make sense, Brown? Yeah, I think so. All right. I don't know why you're doing it though. Why, why not, fuck Brown? Nord if we don't have to. Yeah, like, well, if it doesn't feel it's, right, it's money. But it's also like, hang if, the fuck If it's on. not, it might not be worth it. Oh, oh Mr. no, Brown. Brown's don't. fucked everything up. Oh no, what'd you do? Huh? On your knees. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm, touch his back. Oh, no. Yeah, have a oh, grab of that back. Stop. Oh, oh man. Bat, bat Mac. I can't oh, this you doing oh, that. Bat Mac. Stop it. Oh, oh, give him a little oh, squeeze. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Oh. It's moist and damp from the egg chair. Oh, <laughs> oh, so Michael, Michael wanted oh. to hit him. Uh, also, it's episode 10 oh, next I'm week, sorry. Matt, which means um, oh, potentially yes. chair upgrade. Potentially, yeah. Well, no, no, we'll is we is chair upgrade. Get around to it. We figured out the third seat the other day. Yeah, it's very good. What do you mean you it's figured it out? It's multitask chair. It's got. <laughs> it's got heaps. I don't want it. Anyway, what were we just saying? Oh yeah, chair. oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so <laughs> we're putting it to the fans because if it oh, takes man. away from our, our podcast then we f- discard it to the side we toss it into the gutter like a dead prostitute after a Halloween oh, fuck oh shit <laughs> oh no we can't talk like this <laughs> <laughs> we can't do that <laughs> mate you wait till you get to your fucking diary entry can't you you'll oh. have, fu- have to fucking move states can't you you oh. have to dig a hole straight down 50 metres to stay away from the cops <laughs> <laughs> they'd never be able to catch you they'd never be able to catch you down there oh, oh man. man it's a deep hole <laughs> <laughs> start digging brown Oh yeah, our next sponsor. And we're not up to sponsors yet. <laughs> this is shit talk, baby. We had oh. fucking uh, a little holiday. We, <laughs> we went a bit silly. We um. You went we, a bit silly today. Yeah, went a bit silly today too. It's a holiday, to be fair. We're easing ourselves back into the sobriety and the intense physical working out. So um, yeah, it's been. It's the first week back after having fun is fucking shit. 
It's like always hard after a break. You mental, guys cancelled on health. me twice. Yeah, Matt wanted. To, it's Friday afternoon right now. It's Matt Friday. wanted to do it like early, like when we usually do. But just literally has had not could not think of even how the fuck I was gonna try even try and be funny and fucking prank calls and shit. And I was just like, yeah, I reckon fuck. we'll think of the prank call on the spot today. Done. That's how we come up with the prank call. We literally have two minutes and then whatever comes, comes, we do it. And if we can't think of one, we have to call anyway. But yeah, we had a week off and fuck me, does the mental health suffer if you don't stick to fucking... Routine. Yeah, it's crazy, man. It really rocks me now. (laughs) And sleep. Such severe depression. Yeah, and sleep. Vitamins. Take your vitamins. All that shit. Anyway, what else was there to talk about in the shit talk? I took a little photo... Give me just one minute here, okay? <laughs> Manscaped? <laughs> what do you guys do on oh, your... Yeah. No, we're not up to sponsors yet. <laughs> <laughs> what did, where did you... What did you do for Ooh, your holiday? I just went to uh, Montville with Mon and Esty and just, just had a very relaxing stay. At you lit a fire. Yeah, I cooked by the fire. Well, it's so fun, huh? It's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> I got <laughs> to meet my girlfriend's family in Dubai. Ararat. Ararat? No, Ararat. It's Ararat. Like a- Ararat. Yep. Are not, you sure? Not Ballarat, Ararat. You go to Ballarat, it's like an hour out of Ballarat. Ararat. Sort of. Wow. Sort of Ararat. I've so you, you went to Victoria is what you're saying? It was beautiful. Cool. Anyway. <laughs> That's enough talk about <laughs> fucking holidays. No, no. I have a story from the trip. Yes, oh, you no. do. We were on like... Like imagine a, a riverboat, a, be- no, a like beautiful a, a wharf sunset in the local park of Ararat, where it looks out like a little bit of a lake. So it's just a so it's a, you were at a pool. No, it was sort of like a dam, like a pond, a big pond. Yeah, and there were ducks in the pond. Oh no! Okay. Yeah, <laughs> and we sort of like had a slow dance. It was really romantic. Why were you slow dancing? I don't know. It's just <laughs> something you do with the person you love. Yeah, man. I've never had that. (laughs) (laughs) And then we look down and written on like stone. Anyway, it ended with (laughs) me spitting on a duck. That that was the shittest story ever. (laughs) Dude, I landed. You can't just say we're at the park slow dancing and I spat on a duck. Did it it fly away? I landed a golly. On the duck, dude. Like, what did on it do? Wing, it what just is- keeps kept swimming. It was a massive golly, dude. That is good. I spat on the duck. <laughs> what was your girlfriend's reaction? <laughs> she, she just missed it and just missed seeing it. But then, like, she saw from my laughter because I was so happy with myself what had sort of slowly played out. And then I told her I'd spat on the duck. <laughs> Oh, fuck, that would have been very good. She saw it. Drowning. (laughs) The weight of the golly. The golly was now consuming her. Oh, I got photos I can show you later. (laughs) Really? You took photos of the golly duck? I'll be very excited to see. There's a fly in here and Matt Brown's untrusting of it. Anyway, that's holidays. There's flies. Something's happened here. There's few yeah, flies Yeah, first trimming video we did. Oh, by the way, web the for fucking. I bought Michael a new car, covered in, in Nutella. Filmed it a few weeks ago. Just should be out right now. That's the Nutella crazy car. Crazy prank. Crazy man. And also out on the website is. Um, <sighs> is it better to be safe than sorry? Is it? You remember? I can't remember the the conclusion. Yet. I can't give it away. It's crazy, which brings us to our sponsors. Wait. Wait. All right, how about this? All right, fucking, we we are men of the people. Whatever you guys want us to do, we'll do the German segment, German or gibberish. We've seen some uh, negative comments about it, some people getting a bit over it. That's fine if you guys are getting over it. Just let us know, all right? Comment do you want the German segment to fuck off and we can either replace it with something else or do you guys want the German segment to stay? And be honest, you can't hurt our feelings except for Matt. Do you love the German segment, dude? Do you really like it, man? Yeah, uh, I don't know. I do like the like the punishment in the end. You've only ever got hit once. No, I've been hit twice, thank you. I've been hit three times. Yeah, we'll win. 
Yeah, that's true, Michael. He's got you there. All right. I promise you today, I'll just say it's not German to every answer. That's a, that's going to be my answer for everything. And if I still win, then there's something wrong. Well, how about, no, we do a competition where Marty just decides we get one 30 seconds to be the best German we can. I do it. You do it. No, nah, right. I already says that's, German, already, that's right. in your favor. Uh, being German. Do a German. German. That's, a, that's in your favor already. You're better than me. I already know. No, dude, you might be better than I'll just take being the German. Hit. I'll just take the hit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you take the hit, you know. What, but you have to do a thirty-second show of being German. I don't know how. Just to like a like what just what intimidate you, them? No, what, it's it's not no, no, what you like, think. It's what you them. think a German dancing would look like. Act like a German. Surely you have an opinion on what that might look like. Do that. Ow. <laughs> I pinch, me. I pinch you with my toes. <laughs> anyway, that's shit talk, right? Sponsors. Oh, yeah. Manscaped. All right, all right, everyone. It's time for our beloved sponsors. I feel like this podcast is struggling already. Dude, this is our best, <laughs> no, this is our best podcast <laughs> we've ever done, I reckon. Ow. Okay. All right. NordVPN's on hold. Let us know what you think about them in the comments. Please um, like and subscribe. Manscaped. Fucking hell, man. Are you a fucking gross, fucking hairy dickhead who fucking wanks off in his lounge room when he's home alone and sometimes even when guests are over? Well, you're a dumb cunt. Go to manscaped.com slash fully actual and buy the fucking shit and use our discount code fully actual 20 for 20% off, you fucking pigs. Go and buy shit to make your fucking self look better. Who knows? You might even get a kiss. Fuck off. I shaved my balls with it. <laughs> yeah, and it's good, eh? Yeah. <laughs> if that doesn't sell Manscaped products, then I don't know what does. And that is why Manscaped fits into this, whatever you call this, podcast. It's like a, a poem. Yeah, it fits in nicely. Nord, it's like, oh, you have to say, like, there's heaps of words. Yeah, there's all these, like, words. And they're like, you know, you got to say this. And I'm like, whoa, 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 <laughs> baby. I just want your money. I don't want to be selling nothing. And Manscaped have got the body wash. <laughs> oh, have yeah. you used the body wash? Yeah, baby. I use it every morning. It's actually I don't even rinse, rinse it off. I'm not just trying to sell it, it actually. My body. It's actually just good. Look, Michael's using the body spray. It's hydrating spray. That's how his dick urinates. Yeah. Constantly. Anyway, that's Manscaped. The other sponsor is the University of Markle, our subscription website where we post weekly videos. And the week, the video out right now is, oh my God. Sorry. Is, um, oh, it smells delicious. Oh, it's so nice. But it's just very direct in my face. Wastage. Um, Ow. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the website. We post weekly videos of crazy shit that you can't see on social media, baby. That's it. You, you go you go there it's fucking crazy we get shot by nail guns and stuff we go to hospital heaps and do heaps of gross shit man you're gonna break the laptop yeah you're completely covering the laptop with that well you're gonna have to wipe that down now he's lost oh. control anyway 21 day free trial in the description go and have a cheeky peek see if you like the content if you love it which you probably you might stick around Join the group. Get to know us. Have a little dance. Towels, yeah, yeah, there's heaps. I reckon use your shirt. <laughs> Don't stop it when you push the buttons down. Oh, wow. You stop recording then? Dude, it's broken. Man, if that breaks now, Michael. No, it's just spray. It's manscaped. It's good. You just sp you spray water on a laptop. <laughs> no, it's a body spray. Oh. You put this podcast in jeopardy. It'll I'm, be fine. I'm in danger. Anyway, that's the fucking sponsors, all right? Now, uh, which brings me to, on this day, here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, I, nearly passed out. I can oh, no. feel myself passing out, so I had to stop. <laughs> yeah, you felt yourself passing out. I was gonna go for as long as I could, but I could feel myself passing oh, out. Okay. Oh fuck. <laughs> Cut 
can't you keep that for the podcast? All right, and we're back. Hmm. Um, all right, uh, gravy train. Someone send a doctor because we're fucked. <gasps> Oh, oh, Matthew. <laughs> on this day in 1986, Graham Norton smeared black tar heroin on some toddlers. He said, we well, watched this to his mother while they were hanging out at a playground and walked over and smeared a fistful of tar on about three or four toddlers. <laughs> <laughs> Their skin absorbed a fair bit of it and it fully fucked them up. The toddlers were dickheads. <laughs> Yeah, they must have been bad ones. They, they, some toddlers are just fucking dickheads, man. Really? Yes. So, yeah. God, some toddlers are just like, you can tell that toddler's going to be a fucking dick. <laughs> oh, they're so young. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, he's, lost, he's lost all self. <laughs> okay. All right, everyone. It's time for Michael's Bible. And this is an excerpt from his actual Bible. Get me the book! Oh, yeah, shit. Opening up to a random page. Watch my eyes, see? See? Random page. Wow. This is chapter 9, verse 12, from the book of What Up? Can and can't is the same word, but can't has a T on the end. Therefore, can can't be can't can't because it's can and can't can't be can because it's can't. <laughs> it's so similar if you really think about it, but sort of opposite too. I can't think or read very well anymore because I get real bad headaches heaps. Headaches are important for personal development. I hope so. Fuck off. Sorry. Back the back up if your back is low and get fucked or can't because real life can also be eel life if you're an actual eel. An eel is an animal from the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Michael's fucking... Yeah, we've lost Michael. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. All right, here we go. It's time. Oh, to put here the we Bible go. away. Now onto the darkest, most disgusting, vile part of our podcast, where we reveal the inner thinkings of one of the most successful sexual predators of this millennia, Matt Black Book. Oh, Matthew Brown. Matt Brown. Book. Black Book. <laughs> God, I hope my mum never watches this. It's hard to tell if this is doing well and then you don't want her to watch it. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, that would that would that would be I would be shy about that. Anyway. Oh. <clears throat> Have number nineteen. <laughs> I was lingering around the female change rooms at Kmart right. Hoping to catch a glimpse of some flesh through the curtains Every now and then I would see a flash of tit or ass, Take a mental note of that image And then I would enter one of the empty change rooms And use that mental image and molest myself Creamy straight into my nappy my senses picked up on a change room where the occupant had not pulled their curtain across properly. I allowed my senses to guide me to the best possible angle to increase maximum sight. I glided over to the position, <laughs> just in time to see two tits in the reflection of the mirror inside the change room. Click! Mental image saved. I screamed with victory. Ah! and startled the other shoppers. With mental image in hand, I quickly ducked into the closest empty change room. I had barely pulled the curtain across and I was already molesting myself. I could see those two tits so clearly in my mind. Even when I opened my eyes, the tits was all I could see. Thick, creamy cream squelched from my paws. 
Oh, yeah. My self-molesting intensified to sexual assault. I grabbed my cock hard. I shook it around hard. You want some of this? Oh, you fucking want some? I couldn't help but trash talk in my cock as I jaggedly tugged at it. Can I help you? I, s- 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 <laughs> I stopped sexually abusing myself and stood frozen, cock still in hand. This voice had come from behind me, which meant there was someone in the stall with me. You didn't even see me when you came running in here, mate. (laughs) I released my little brown and slowly turned around. There, sitting in the change room chair, is a solid middle-aged lady. She had really short buzz-cut hair, a short and stocky build, a white crop top which barely contained her huge fatty liquid tits, and her huge belly bulged out underneath. Her armpit hair, saturated with sweat, stretched down her waist. Then she had a denim skirt and etne skate shoes on. I was frozen in fear and did not know what to do. I felt an urge to bound backwards and just never look front. Don't let me stop you, said the small, sturdy woman. (laughs) Excuse me? I was confused. Was she... Was she propositioning me? You heard me, cunt. Don't stop. (laughs) (laughs) She laughed and revealed her light brown teeth. Her fat but strong body jiggled. She was the first lady that ever made me feel... Disgust. I was not familiar with this feeling and I panicked. I, I'm sorry. I can't have you. You're the most vulgar creature I've ever seen. I pulled my pants up and turned to leave the change room. <laughs> I'll give you vulgar, you fucking cunt. I felt an incredibly strong hand reach in between my legs and grab my little brown through my pants. I was then pulled back into this woman and she sat me on her knee. I'm going to finish what you started, you little pig. No! I grabbed her hand to remove it from my crutch, but she tightened her grip. I tried both hands and she still with one hand was far too powerful. Please, I don't want you. She wrapped her arms around me and hugged me in close. Then she spoke directly into my ear. It's not all about you, cunt. Now let me have a turn. Her thick, super strong arms tensed even harder. Her strength was so shocking it drove me into panicking. She slapped her hand over my mouth and tore my pants off with her other hand. She stood us both up and whispered in my ear, Now either you have a bit of fun with me, or I'm going to have to tell the cops that you entered my change room while I was in here and tried to fuck me. The blood drained from my face. I realised she had me. I was trapped. She pointed to the ground and I lay down. I was terrified. She ripped her top off like it was paper, and her humongous breasts dangled down near her waist. She stood over me with one leg on either side of me. Then she squatted down and thumbed my flaccid little brown up in her. She had a huge smile on her face and she kept rolling her eyes in the back of her head. I couldn't believe this was happening. My little brown remained flaccid as she bounced up and down with it still jammed up inside of her. I couldn't take it anymore. I pushed her so she fell backwards and turned to make a break for it. I got all the way to the curtain but then felt five fingers shoot into my ass. And, and then I felt her fist flexing open and closed while inside of me. I screamed and squirted. Her other hand started king hitting me in the back of the skull. I was screaming and scrambling, trying desperately to remove her hand from my ass. She continued to punch my head. Is everything all right in there? One of the staff from outside had heard the commotion. <laughs> Everything is fine, thanks. Just had a bit of trouble taking my shirt off. I heard the employee walk off and looked up at the woman, whose fist was still searching around in my gaping asshole. Then she found something. I felt a stir- surge of pleasure stiffen my body. Her hand up my ass had located my G-spot. <laughs> got you now, cunt! She started massaging my G-spot and my little brown sprung to life. She got a firm grip of my G-spot and squeezed it with her thumb and pointer finger. Immediately, ejaculate mints sprayed from my ass and little brown. My little brown was wasn't even fully erected and it was flailing around like an unmanned fire hose. Then finally, she took her hand off my mouth and out of my ass. I lay there in my own bubbling mince, extremely satisfied but still incredibly traumatised. <laughs> the lady chuckled and as she walked out of the change room, she turned around and said, Clean that up, you pig. <laughs> it wasn't how I wanted it, but this lady was my 19th half. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, 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 oh my god! You were raped. <laughs> that was so much. Let it be known that Matt Brown was raped. <sighs> Spread the word far and wide. Sing it from the hilltops. <laughs> oh, Matt! I might try and stick to the small ones from now on. You fucking asshole! Maybe. Fucking pig! You write such a long dumb shit. Fuck off!
They're mine. Oh, oh, oh my god! Are you struggling, <laughs> dude? It's hard to like be. It's hard to, for him to be alive. It is very, very hard. I like. I want to be like flat. Oh, you're more than flat. You're past flat. Whatever below you're, flat you're is. You're decline now, Kelton. Yeah. You're fucking angled into the ground, Kelton. <laughs> you're one of those seats at the gym. <sighs> All right, I guess it's um time for... <laughs> oh, yeah. Bachelor just, Brown, like Brown, 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 Brown. Bachelor Brown, 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 Brown. He's right behind you. He's right behind you. Bachelor Brown, 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 Brown. <laughs> Before we oh. start... <laughs> <laughs> Before we start Four weeks start. I just remembered that um, I did see somebody comment And somebody casually said to me at work Can you Can we explain um, some of the segments a bit better So people listening Is understanding what's happening Oh, oh and if they, like, yeah, We don't offer explanations yeah, And anymore, if there's new it? If you're a new Somebody I spoke to someone recently And I convinced them to watch an episode And um, they They I said start at the, at the beginning of season four, but they started right at the last episode that we did and they were very lost. And yeah, I said, yeah, that makes sense. So um, if we can explain what Bachelor Brand is for anyone who's oh, new. That's very good explanation. So for anyone who's every new. Every segment. Bachelor Brand is, a, is Matt, Matt Brown. He's, he's like 40 years old. He's not all 40 alone and, 35. and single. And basically he's given us, Michael and I, the opportunity to find him the perfect mate i take we've, he's, he's given that gift to us and we've taken responsibility i didn't give him the gift they just took the gift and ran with it and so we're finding girls via social media we get them to uh, dm us to see if they want to have a phone date with matt and then we set that up for him yay so this week we have another gorgeous girl what's her name her name's christy <laughs> <laughs> that's what michael says now Oh, Michael's gone. We've lost him. <laughs> Michael, do you remember her name? Yeah, Christy. It is Christy. Is Christy short for something? Yeah, Christy yeah. Just Christy. I think Christy is sort of crystalline. Yeah. Anyway, this is Christy, and this could be the one, Matt Brown. Maybe. Get excited. All right. And, and yes, I remember your special skill that you told me that you want to show off. I don't want to show any skill. Oh, tell her you love her. Stage fright. I'm not so going to tell weird. her I love Dude, her. Dude, try it. I'm sick of this. You got to do something that you haven't done before. Hello. Hello, Christy. It's Marty and Michael here, and you are on the fully actual podcast. And I've I've got a very lustful, horny Matthew Brown sitting next to me, and he's gripping his crotch. It is. Very I am not. Distasteful. Are you? I am not. So oh looking God, at it. Fucking hilarious. <laughs> anyway, Christy, oh, she sounds um, really innocent. Oh yeah, Matt. Chrissy is absolutely lovely. And um, Chrissy, before we started the podcast today, uh, Matt yeah. said, "Oh, just to break the ice, can you like just t- let her know that I'm really good at doing accents from different countries." Um, oh, so no, I didn't Matt, say that at Matt all. Wants to sh- Matt I, wants to show off. Um, I didn't he, say that at just all. Just a few, two or three of his accents. No, just to sort of you know break the ice a little bit. I thought oh, that was a really good idea. It, that's a terrible hey, idea. Honestly, nice French. That's fine. All right, all right, Do Matt. What, uh, maybe yeah, let's go French first. I don't know French, dude. Yeah. That was well, pretty my good. My brother lives in France, so. What's he doing in France? I've been there for oh like eleven God. years. He's been like, oh, oh, hang on, yeah, no, eleven years. He moved that. there with his he wife. He loves and her. Had kids over there, so I've got French niece and nephew. Oh, that's cool that we can go to France one day together. When you ask her where she's from, we've got to go to her. She'll from. love my brother. Hey, he's fucking biggest Aussie bogan ever. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Um, Christy, what what do you what do you find really attractive about uh, our Matthew? She Brown? probably finds nothing attractive. Oh, look, you Tell know you love what? Um, I didn't know anything about you guys until like a week ago. So my neighbour and oh like my, my little brother sort of a thing, he kind of set this whole thing up. So oh. had no idea. So about it's kind of like guys. a blind so she's date. Forced. She's forced into it. It's kind of like no, a blind she date. loves you. No, that's almost. I was fucking forced into this. She's forced into it. She doesn't even want to be here. So you got half your dates, Matt. Don't pretend. I seriously fucking was. Like, dead said, nah, I love my little brother. He did this for me because he just wants me to find someone as well. So He knows that you're the one, one mate. This could be it, Matt. This could be it, Matt. It sounds like a sure thing. 
It sounds like yeah. Destiny's brought you guys together. Wait, and do, 100%. Do I you have, did this. And I'm like, oh, fuck them, whatever. Do it. Whatever you want to do, do it. I bet you I won't get on. And look, I'm on it. <laughs> Matt's a Mormon. Not yet. Are you? Um, is Do you have Instagram, Christy? Uh, you know what? I didn't have Instagram until like a couple oh, of days yeah, ago. Yes, all right. <laughs> I just Matt? didn't well, and I'm, I got it so Matt can message me. Matt, Matt wants to say something to you. Make sure you listen with an <laughs> open heart. Sure. This should be Oi, quite profound. Do an English you accent. Welcome to a- I'm excited oh. to hear what he's got to say. Hey. Um. Oh, this is embarrassing. Um, that's good, that's good English. Me, mate. I've been fucking nervous all day about this shit. Like, just You've been something. nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Put in the fucking top of this. This so happens to me once a week. Can't make her feel sorry, better, man. I do. I swear a lot, and I'm really sorry. <laughs> That's all right. I deal with the two biggest swearers in Australia. What were you going to say, Matt? Wait, I will say whatever that comes out of my mouth. Well, that's good. Um... <laughs> Um, I forgot what to say. Um, oh, what are the normal questions? Where are you from and what's your oh, age? Boring. Uh, you Mate, always I'm do from this shit. Kalanga, but let's from Kalanga. It is a good area. Like it is the probably the best area of Kalanga. Do you want to? You're down the road. Yeah, you could have just Oi, come up. I could come to your house right now if you wanted to. Man, we'll meet halfway like teenagers. Oh my do. god, dude. Oh no, nah, I can't drive. I've been drinking. No, nah, we'll walk there. Matt, you're I a cab could, driver. Actually, no, I could run because I'm a runner. So. <laughs> Matt's Ubered before. He could pick you up. Oh. What's, your, what's your address? Right, no, get no, a no, stop. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> get a pen Stop out. it. No, if, stop, stop. If Matt, don't say your address. Not, we won't don't say do it that. on the podcast, but if, don't, um, no, no. if we DM no. you on Instagram after no. the podcast. Can he have you out? <laughs> can, can, no. Matt, can Matt have you Matt, and Matt, wine and dine you? I would meet up with you. <laughs> Dude, she's the oh, one no, for you, Matt. You've got to be nice people. Like, I don't meet up with strangers. Like. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Well, I Matt. guess you could watch 100 episodes of this and figure out if we're nice. So. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, we just did it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, she's the one. Christy, what do you like to do yeah. in your spare time? What do you do in your spare time? What do you like to do for fun? Oh, okay. So after work, I I actually play footy. So I play footy for open women's team. So you I, love it's footy. NRL. Yes, I play NRL tackle. I'm not gonna lie. Dude, I do she play be tackle. strong. Yes, I do. So you guys, um, it'll be like a full battle. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm, I'm a winger, so I don't do shit. <laughs> oh, so you're fast. You're the speedy one. I run. As I said, I'm a runner. Would you be able um, to tackle Matt Brown? Oh, of course uh, you could. Probably, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my god, Marty! My ears are gonna fucking explode. <laughs> All right, Christy. Well, we're, Matt Brown's gonna. Me- his Instagram handle is Matt Brown one 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 four number ones, and he's gonna ins- message you after this, and he wants you to tackle him while he does oh, accents. Oh no, I, I can't dinner. message. Her. I don't have her Insta. She'll have to follow me. Oh but. yeah, yeah. You'll have to. Can you? Do you know how to follow people on Instagram? Uh, no, I have to get my friend to show me. Okay, can, does I said, your fr- I fucking didn't have Instagram until the does other your, day. Does your friend watch the podcast? Yeah, they're the ones that got me onto it. Okay, will you be able to ask them to get your account to follow Matt Brown? Yeah, I can do that if, if Matt wants me to. Like, no, he I'll does. He's just a shy fucking I'm idiot. I've got no choice, do I? Wait, can I? Can I just say one thing before you? Yeah, go for it. That we can go on a date, so I can buy you a new chair. <laughs> oh wow, that's the <laughs> perfect, Christy. That's Mate, one of the best. Your posture, your, the way you sit is terrible. I, I, need to buy you. I agree. <laughs> I'm slowly, I'm slowly head. dying. Mate, I can buy you a chair. <laughs> that's probably one of the nicest things anyone's ever, you know, offered uh, me. I, Mate, I'll just buy it for you. I don't care how much it is. Just, I'll just put it on my credit card. It's all sweet. <laughs> Matt's got a big cheesy grin on his face and he's gone all red blushing and he's picking at his nipples. <laughs> he's picking at his nipples, scratching the dirt off. All right, thank you very much, Christy. It's a pleasure to talk to you. And oh, my God. What's yeah, going on? Nice to meet you guys. Hey. You too. Thanks for thank taking the call. For- and, um, yeah, get get your, your mate to get you to follow Matt Brown, and this could be a love story in the making. Yeah, thank you, Christy. She's still there. Uh, see you later, Christy. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, she just agreed. 
Dude, she that's you you, you guys just teed up pr- sex. Is that sex? <laughs> you just had sex pretty much. You just had oh. sex with a strange woman. <laughs> oh, oh. Just then you had sex. You are Dude. grotesque. Was it good, Matt? I hate oh. I Do you love her? I might go home. <laughs> Dude, that was send her your address after and maybe you could cook some lamb. Well at least together. she offered to get me a new chair, unlike <laughs> you guys. <laughs> cook a lamb together. <laughs> Do you like her, Matt? She sounded very nice, didn't she? Very, yeah, very. She's nice. like a very innocent. She like, plays NRL too, which you love. Chicks that play NRL. If there's any girls out there that play Matt NRL used in particular, to play NRL. Yeah, Matt was a was a um, cent, centre half forward back, and he'd run around sideways. <laughs> <laughs> there were times yeah. I thought he was Darren Lockyer. <laughs> yeah, you, you guys used to you be him get him I look confused. like him a bit now. Got him confused <laughs> early on. To mistake you. You guys had a lot of intimacy until he found out you weren't Darren Lockyer. (laughs) (laughs) That whole segment doesn't get any easier. All right. (laughs) All the good things in life that are worth getting aren't easy, Matthew Brown. And remember that. Write that down. I'll say it at your eulogy. (laughs) Or One day. All right. So we've done Michael's Bible. We've done Matt's little black book. It is time. We've done Bachelor Brown. It is time for the... We didn't pick one. The comment of the week. We'll pick right now on the fly. Okay. Do you want me to pick it? Yeah. Sorry about this because we haven't um, had a proper podcast. We haven't had a a routine week. That's what I was looking for. This... Okay. This is from Stephen... (laughs) What about this? What? Is Brown feeling okay? He's looking like the Make-A-Wish kid. (laughs) Oh, is that because I'm bald? (laughs) It's because you have the sunnies on too. Look at this. See how you sort of... Look at my posture. Christy's (laughs) right. (laughs) Christy's right. This chair's (laughs) fucked me. (laughs) Oh, wow. That was a great... It is, yeah. That does look good. I reckon we give it to Wade Mitchell 72 and we'll have to answer that question because that's a rip snortler. That's an absolute rip snortler. Is Brown feeling okay? He's looking like a Make-A-Wish kid. I'm looking Great at- comment. If you want a comment of the week, you just comment anything. You know, it's we just pick it like the day before. It's our just most favorite. It doesn't have to be smart or funny or anything or the most liked. Just a fucking comment, right? And then you get to go up on the comment wall, which is one of the highest honors. Get it out, man. Get, get it out and have a show of it. Oh, look at that. Be careful. If you, no. If you want to oh, have, sure. if you want to You're be on this drunk. prestigious board, fucking get that up your shit tits and comment. Because if you can win comment of the week, you get on that cunt. Questions! All right, this next segment is questions where we answer questions that you guys comment on our Marty and Michael Fully Actual YouTube channel. If you want your question to be answered, comment your question. We answer the questions with the most likes first. If As long as we haven't answered them already heaps of times, we answer the most liked ones first. So just have a scroll through, like the questions you want us to answer, and here we go, baby. Michael, get ready, baby. It's sniff o'clock. Okay. <laughs> sniff o'clock. <laughs> uh, ba! Ba! How many bong breaks are we Oh, yeah, let's do another. It's good. It'll be good for questions. Trust (laughs) us, bro. Bro, bro, I know you. I know you know me, bro. And trust me right now. (laughs) We need some marijuana flushing through our guts. (laughs) Bong break. And we're back. And now we're going to answer your fine, fine questions. Mm. Finest. Look. Take it away, my brown. Yeah, that's in All right. Top question went to Teddy Gray on stuff. Oh. Depending which country you're from. from? <laughs> all right. Oh, it's, all right. Can you play rock, paper, scissors to see which one of you will call your firstborn either a Quifton or Queston? Let me go paper, okay? Scissors, paper, rock. 
Got ya. All right, Michael, yeah. <laughs> you're going to have a girl or a boy for us? Mine fucked. He didn't even know it. With Quifton? <laughs> yeah, for a girl and Queston for a boy. That's what you get. You yeah. have to name them that now. That's yeah. just what. That's just you. Just entered a verbal contract. All right. Yeah, man. We'll sue. Only if you have two kids, though. Yeah, yeah. If you have one, it has one has to be. They'll be twins. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, let's move right along from that fucking question. Hovering. All right. Um, <laughs> question. Next question is from the Solution Forty One. Oh, fucking hell, Matt. You are so racist. Mm. Does Matt Brown have some pretty conservative bitch boy limits? You seemed hesitant to wind him up to the point of fury. However, I really think the podcast <laughs> should be at the stage to test him emotionally, physically, and rectally. Let me know, guys. I want to use the answer to help me manifest some stuff. Imagine if we had to rile him up to the point of fury. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> ah. I, I struck your back earlier. Yeah, but it was kind of smooth, so you didn't hurt. It was friendly. If stuff. it hurt, then I'd be furious. It's all fucking bunna, isn't it? It's fucking bunna. It's Birmingham. We, we don't go to fucking fury, mate. It's fucking bunna. Ooh, <laughs> three. <laughs> um, <laughs> next oh. question is from Tanner. <laughs> um, this question got asked a few times, um, and this is probably not the most like one, but Tanner, you're the copy that I have of it. Um, why have Marty's farts dried up? I want to have a theory about this. I think it's your new diet and healthy regime. I think it is too. And it sucks, man. It sucks, but I'm um, good. To be because honest, I've forgotten about him. I, I literally just don't fart anymore. Yeah, man. Yeah, what happened to that? That was such a good part of the podcast. We got to get that back. How do I do that, man? Um. Um. Yeah, I'll, I'll look. I'll look into it. I really got to. And it adds so much great artistry and beautiful notes to you the podcast. You did do one today. It was just weak. Yeah. yeah Michael's Jackson's. been doing more than you. Sorry. Yeah. Um. Next one is from Deflo. Yes. This isn't a question. It was more of just a, a comment and theory. Um. He feels like Matt's gonna choose the girl from Bachelor Brown that has the best fridge. Do you like fridges? Yeah, yeah. Matt likes to cool off inside. Remember oh, that's a, right. Yeah, I bought a fridge last episode. That was he's going back to. I saw you use my fridge the other day. Been. He's yeah. he's got a fridge now though, so he doesn't need a girl with a fridge. He just needs a girl. Anything will do. Kristen, Christy, Christy, Kristen. Next question is from Hilly Kush. Um. Are we sure Matt hasn't conceived any children with any of his haves? No. He must have spread some seed somewhere. His seed is all over town. If you get one of those semen lights and shine it around Brisbane, He's you'll see fertile. Matt's... I have to admit. <laughs> I wish he was, eh? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Matt was infertile. <laughs> <laughs> Are you really? No, Maybe. he's not. Oh. His mince is oh. thicker than anything I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder though sometimes after all the halves, I wonder if I fucked up. No, somewhere. Matt is the safest fucker I know. Yeah, I am pretty safe. He tarps up every fucking time, bro. Steve, you've got a kid. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Michael. <laughs> you've got a kid. You should keep all your loads in one condom. I do. And just can start a bottle of jizz. Would you? Oh, if we give you oh, 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 no. Dude, we'll give you money if you start a bottle of jizz. How much? <laughs> what do you reckon's fair for a 600 mil bottle? I, I reckon it'd be good for a video at 500 some bucks we'll give per you 500 bottle? bucks if you can do a, a 500 like a 600 bucks mil. per bottle. 600 mil bottle. Yeah, all right. So you got to start saving them. Oh, this is fucked. Dude. $500 for a 600 mil bottle of jizz. Yep, done. You guys are fucked. And can we'll I make see as many as I want? Yep. Imagine if he came next week with seven liters. Dude, I'm gonna, oh, oh, oh. he's already been saving. <laughs> Just gonna be jacking it nonstop. Okay. We've given him financial incentive to watch even more porn. What could we do with the bottle? It'll yeah. come to us when the moment's right, just like the golly bottle revealed itself yeah. in the perfect scenario. And it ended in the perfect way too. That's only on the website though. My, we, Michael, for those new viewers, Michael used to have a bottle where he would spit his gollies in and it was a one litre bottle of just pure golly. Start season three and then you'll be able to see it all. And he poured the whole thing on his fucking head. It was like a, it's for a game. 
Oh. Very important game. So you're going to pour a Love whole bottle of my jizz in your head? No, I don't know. Well, there's multiple things we could we do. Could, you could make people slip over. Over time, do you think it'll go all fucked? No, remember we had jizz on our thing for ages. Yeah, we still got jizz. Yeah, we got jizz lying around here somewhere. Our fans send in. Yeah, it'll dry up their in body. the bottle. It'll dry up in no, the bottle. No, I don't reckon. It'll put a bit of water to start. No, nah, I reckon it'll that. stay normal. Okay. It won't do that. Okay. But I guess we'll find out, won't we? Will you do it? Yeah, right. You promise? Yeah. I, I I'm promise. so excited yeah. for that. Oh, it's going to be so shit having to come into it every time. I have to figure that out. A funnel. Funnel. Thank you. Get a funnel. Anyway, next question. Just don't let anyone catch you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Matt, what are you... <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you come in me? Oh. I'm hovering. I ain't touching, cunt. I'm allowed to hover everywhere I want to. <laughs> okay. Um, next question is from Dylan oh, Dusso. Oi! That's how you gain Dusso. their trust. Oh, Dylan Dusso. Depending where he's from, I think it's Dusso or Uso. D might be silent. We have to hurry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a girlfriend to get to. Um, when you guys took that break two years ago from partying too much, what did you do during the break? We. This um, is more when Michael had his break and that led to your break. Uh, um, we just got new hobbies and filled our time with other things. It's shit to begin with. It's not. It's fucking takes a while for the rewards to pay off. But if you can fucking hold out for a couple of months, you see the other side. Mm. And the other side is full of lush greenery. The grass is greener. Yeah, on the sober side. Mm. Next well, question is have fun. Of course, every now and then, I'm, we aren't we aren't saying go to bed. Mm. No, you you can have late night still, just every now and then. Yeah, we're all about moderation here at Marty and Michael. And Apart from weed, <laughs> you can smoke as much have weed as, as you like, as much as you can. <laughs> <laughs> Next question: What is your favorite word? <clears throat> Probably ringworm. Fuck. No, ringworm is the best word that's ever happened. Yeah, ringworm's pretty good. It's got special meaning too. Palestine. Yeah, that's a nice word off the tongue. It's fun to say. Say Palestine. Mate. Snot is also fun to say. Say it. Snot. And the other one? Palestine. Racist. US sanctions is a funny yeah, word. Yeah, US sanctions is some of the best wordery I've ever sniffed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. Next question is from Jacob Dickinson. My Did man. You, uh, would you prefer this or that? Isn't there a, a verse to this in your fucking Bible? It means same. So you it, go 50 50, so same. I get both. It means same, so it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> we nearly drove him to fury then. <laughs> How's this podcast going so far, man? Yeah, it's <laughs> great. <laughs> Oh, we've been a bit silly. <laughs> you are. Actually, that's perfect timing you say that because Dylan Schumacher, I know how to say that last name. Honestly, Matt Brown is the single mother with you two boys. And I really am. Oh, wow. So you fucked my dad. <laughs> <laughs> my oh. dad came in your ass and I crawled out of your throat. <laughs> you fucking pig. <laughs> All right. Next question is from Malcolm Sex. <gasps> Um. <laughs> People are watching, listening on Spotify, will just be like driving their cars in at brick walls because <laughs> they don't know just what's going to on. Listening to us laugh. Next question is from Malcolm Sex. Hey boys, what <laughs> what was your weekend routine like in your early twenties? Oh, coaching from Saturday morning to like Saturday afternoon, and then get home with a fistful of cash from work from the week, and fucking get on it, <laughs> get fucking on it till late Sunday night. <laughs> And then let the depression swell in my heart as I pass out at 1 a.m. and then get up at 5 a.m. to start the week all over. Back to coaching. Yeah. It was like the week was recovery while the weekend was like away. Right, Matt? Yeah. Yeah, it's fucking... But, man, you can take it when you're younger. And fuck me, that was fun times. Um, next question is from... Suspend every, every time, no matter how much money I brought out with me. 
I would spend. Oh yeah, I'd see you do that. Yeah, because like, you brought cash. Sometimes I accidentally just forgot to take my weekly wage out of my all my coaching money out of my wallet, and I would just spend it all. Yeah, if it's there, you spend it. One hundred and ten percent, and that should be on a on a bumper sticker. It probably is. If it's there, you'll spend it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> next question is from Jeez. Cohen Kerr Ross. I'm in pain. <laughs> I just realized how shit that oh. is. <laughs> like so. Next episode, by the way, is episode 10. And he's, oh, we've talked about that. <gasps> you get a new one. Get a new one. <laughs> like, that. like there's two of him. <laughs> oh no, Matt. Next question is from Cohen uh, Kerr Jesus. Ross. Have you guys ever thought of trying which sports protection works the best for science? Yeah. What? We sorted the have, video we out on that. the website. Have you is done called, that? Is it better to be safe than sorry? Uses a bit of sporting equipment. But that is a good idea, isn't it? Which... which, which what sp- was it? We've done... <laughs> <laughs> which sport equipment is works the best? Brown? That is good. <laughs> is that it? So we've pretty much done that with which sport ball hurts the most and which sport is the Yeah, scariest. but which sports like which protective. sports protection. So you know like um like a um like a box a box a, a helmet, helmet a face mask elbow oh, like guards. Ho- we've done it with hockey. Yeah, I know. We've done we have haven't done a an All right. accumulation All right, of the protective. All right, let's just admit Michael way. you don't want to do it. <laughs> Yeah, we won't. <laughs> we won't do it. All right, final question. Oh, here's my other hat. Matt. Sorry. Um, final question. What's the oldest have Matt's ever had? Oh, man. Remember that fucking... She was, what, 72? <laughs> yeah, Matt had sex with a 72-year-old... I did. ...lollipop lady. Mm. We used to fucking... The gym we would go to every day, we had to drive past the school... And there'd be these fucking old as fuck lollipop. It's probably in your fucking diary somewhere. She was 72. And Matt would always honk at her and run the window down and wave at her like this and flash his eyes really wide. Why do they call them lollipop ladies? And then he met up with her one day after for a coffee. And um, yeah, you blew her back out. You fucked so hard. You were with her for three months. Why do they call them lollipop ladies? Because they got that the stop sign. It looks like a lollipop. Uh, Fucking hell, Matt. It's the same shape as a fucking lollipop. Yeah, You've been right. wondering this whole time. Is it because they give lollipops yeah, to the kids? Yeah, I thought kids? they give you lollipops. No, they don't. Maybe you Matt's were hopeful as a small brown boy. You'd walk past them, think, "Oh, she give me lollipops." Yeah, she never today? gave me one. She gave you lollipops. Mm, she gave you lollipop. Suck. Anyway, <clears throat> um, that's the end of questions. 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 All right, let's see what's next. Is it? Pardon? German? Oh, did yeah. we put it to the people for German? We did. We done that yet. All right. Our next segment is called German Achtjeberisch. And the people who are new, what is this? So this is a segment where I say a sentence that either is fluent German or is complete nonsense. And these two fucking dumb fuckwits have to try and guess if it was German or if it was gibberish. Whoever gets the most wrong... I get to hit as hard as I can we don't have with spoon. a spoon. Where's the spoon? We'll find it's it. It's gone missing. Find something. There's I'll a lot of things something. missing today. Yeah, the PowerPoint was different. Is it under the couch? Move. PowerPoint was different. Is the spoon under the couch? I can't see right now. Oh, no, it's here. There we go. Problem solved. All right. <clears throat> Sentence number one. Fleck me at some bustum! Fleck me at some bustum! I promise you I'll say no to everything and we'll see if you win. No, it's not German. Yeah, neck is a fucking human English word. Fleck! You say fleck neck. Fleck neck. Fleck neck in big knuckle. No, you said. good at it. So that's not German. That is you, fucking you are English. Both, you are both right. Yeah, good. Right, it's not okay. German. You're both on one point. Piss a dump! Piss a dump! You're trying to trick us because that's so stupid, but that's, that is actually German. That is not German. It's German. It is German. Yeah. 
Do you want to take a stab? It's like um, it's like having you know that puffin fresh character. I'm gonna of, give it to you. I'm gonna give it to you. <laughs> it's like Fuck the tire, the tire, ca- the ghost from Ghostbusters, Mister Puffin Fresh. Oh, um, the state puffed marshmallow man. That's it. I watch movies. Very close. Uh, it's uh, piss steam. Starts with a P. Puffin fresh. Fucking yeah. Spot. It's good that you remember that. You can't give that to him. Yeah, That's yeah. Three, I had okay. to. I couldn't because I couldn't get it past the board of directors. Okay. Next one. <clears throat> Bring me a zaft. Bring me a zaft. <laughs> yeah, it's not German. I'm sticking. Matt's sticking to his gun. Yeah, Bren. It's a name. It's a German name, maybe, but like, oh, it's not German. It's not German. It. Is German. Oh my god! It it means um, bring me juice. Mm. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So it's one nil to Michael still. Two one to Michael. <laughs> Ooh. Number four. Oh my god. Brock Welch aber. Brock Welch aber. It is not German. Matt wants to lose because he wants me to hit him. It, I've just realized. I just want to see if Michael can still fuck it up if I say the same thing every time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not German. Oh, fly. It's not German. Three, two. Last one. Gebrochenes Knie lecken! Gebrochenes Knie lecken! Why you giggle, Matt? That language. <laughs> That sound real human make. Don't <laughs> laugh. That's how we talk. No way. No, you, it's not German. Fuck, we're going to tie here. It you're probably up by is. one. And he's, you already know what his answer is going to be. Oh, really? <laughs> what did you say? Oh, shit. You go first. You said it's not German. I can't. Well, I, I go back to deciding after you. <laughs> I, uh, it is German then. It is German. Oh, he can just say whatever he wants and win. <laughs> it isn't German. Is German. Oh my god. Lucky I said it is. And it means one more time. Gebrochenes Knie lecken. I reckon it's like, you know that Mr. Squiggle character? Yes. That cartoon. It's Mr. Squiggle. Right. I think it's a footrest. I can see the connection there. No, man. Way off. Fuck. It means lick. Broken knees. I was definitely close. <laughs> I was a bit off, but it's still close. I can see the connection. Mm. I can see the connection. Mm. I can see the connection. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, fuck. One of the machines just bumped oh, up and down bullshit. and then made sounds and started counting in French. How come you uh, bitched out with your accents before, Matt? I got nervous. What made you think of that right now? Um... I said the word French and it made me think of accents. Now Michael's going to sit down and he's going to give you a um, South African accent. Listen to this, Matt. Right off the mid of the bit. <laughs> that is not what South African. Is that? that is South African. Right that off the mute of the bed. That's the cricket commentator. He yeah. was like a mongrel mix of stuff, wasn't he? That's horrible. <laughs> I thought he was South African. Accent. We just lost like four thousand followers from that. Um. Well, yeah. Fuck. I forget what South African sounds like. I can hear it in my head. Yeah, I can hear it too. All right. We'll go then. And it's like it's like has it going? <laughs> <laughs> it's the same as New Zealand. <laughs> Almost, sort of. Matt's coming out of his shell. He stuck his head out of his shell. That was man. cute. That was very spot on. Christy will really enjoy it. Christy. It's Christy. Is you that what I said? Listening. What did I say? Crystal? Oh. Christy. Christy. It's Christy. Christy Brown. Um, look, n- next is, is, is uh, the P.O. Box segment, right? Where we open shit that you guys have sent us. I'm going to have to stop you right there. We don't have anything. Oh, yeah, we got some. But every single person who watches this show on YouTube, the the streamers might not feel it that bad, but every single YouTube person will be 
irate if you don't go through with the punishment from German or gibberish. Oh my god, oh, we got lost with it. We Shit. forgot about ourselves, and that's for you guys. I remembered. They forgot. We would have forgot that. Prepare yourself, Brown, for this will hurt. I still days. have a mark. Should Connor zoom in on my face slowly as this goes down? Oh no! <laughs> oh, in the tooth. Oh. Hurry oh. <laughs> up, I don't like it. Just get it over and done with. Brown. <laughs> Ooh, that is decent. Oh, it oh burns. It burns. <laughs> it does. It's sort of nice, though, <laughs> if you embrace it. I tried to, but it didn't work. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Not good. All right. Um, as I was saying, the PO box where you guys we open shit live on the podcast every week. Shit that you guys send us to our PO box. There it is. PO box two five six taken four zero one eight Queensland Australia. Send oh. us whatever you want. We literally get sent body parts. We don't get sent much sh sh fuck shit anymore, eh? Yeah, like it's really gone. Shit. Maybe we haven't been promoting it enough. Look, guys, the, we love the P.O. Box, man. We don't ever want to lose Read that out segment, man. The, the, it is fun. We number. must. Yeah, or we maybe we should just it. do it like when every now and then when we have like a good backlog of fucking presents. Yeah. Well, I guess it calls for you guys to send us more. Yeah, yeah so send us your words. So yeah. Send us your four skins. <laughs> oh, what are we I doing? don't trust that, dude. Be fucking careful. Yeah, we always have to be careful with our flailer. Just open it over Michael. Just okay. Oh God. Oh, watch out. Oh, oh, he had me. <laughs> what do you mean? Watch out. What's oh, that black thing? Oh my God. What's, nah, what's that black thing? That is so Whoa. much pubic Oh shit. <laughs> Someone's just saying. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> just is, as I was oh. saying, we need to get sent more shit. Whoa. <laughs> Dude, <they laughs> Fuck. I've thrown the pubes on Michael. Oh my I've thrown god, the pubes that's on Michael. fucked. I've thrown the pubes on Michael. Oh, go have oh a my shower. God. Oh, there's pubes. That <laughs> that's been on dick. That's been on dick. Oh, we don't know where they've watch, been. Watch how Michael cleans things. <laughs> he doesn't know how to. <laughs> I'm breathing them in. I, I saw the fucking pubes floating over to me from the mirror. Oh my Dude, god. Stop. Putting pubes on me, man. Oh my God. We need to keep some no. de decorum. It's fucking, they're everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> fucking pubes everywhere. All your feet. <laughs> oh, look at that big bit over there. Yeah, I didn't look need at the bit on the pillow. <laughs> no. Oh my god, the pubes are on the laptop. <laughs> the pubes are on the laptop now. This is getting out of hand. Okay, oh, that, oh. read the note. That got No, fun. man, I, I'm not Oh, they're in the air. I can yeah, see them. Yeah, sticking know, to my sweat. I, I'm, I have a fun. Dear Marty and Michael and Mr. Browntown, I enjoy your shit. Keep it up. Unlike Mr. Brown, I would like to keep this short and, and as least rapey as possible. He's one sick man who needs help. Fuck, I have to unwrap it more. I'm one sick man in these. So you just so sent us your pubes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, I would love to come on a lad's trip with you both. I'm 31, not 12. <laughs> 12? Your pubes look 12. <laughs> you can't remind me of a younger me and I miss my child self-fucking adulting. We're have older than him? But we remind us, we remind him. Oh, of there is so much pubes, like different colors too. Oh, he wants us to smoke them. He's smoke STD free. Oh, that's nice. That <laughs> means there's definitely an STD in there. Oh, it's kind of him to <laughs> let us know. I feel like there's pubes on my fucking head. Man, I, I really knocked a lot of pubic hair onto Michael, and that was great work. There's a fly buzzing around him now. Oh, he said that he'll send us better <laughs> shit, but we asked for pubes. He must have asked. Yeah, us I bet you did. Us. You definitely probably Damn did. it. We need a vacuum. We Let's ask for cool this. shit right now, then we'll get it later. What uh, do you want, Matt? I want um uh, skin. Matt loves skin of any kind of any animal. <laughs> yeah, I reckon if you've got blisters, 
Save the skin you pe- like peel off or your blister. Or a sunburn, a bad sunburn. Yeah. Matt loves skin. He likes to sew with it. Or a little Lego man. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, so easy to send. Everyone's got a Lego man. I know, because I, I want reckon- one. Yeah, okay. That's your choice. And the skin. Skin wrapped, well, a Lego man wrapped in skin. <laughs> or Lego versions of us. <laughs> That's fucked. Now you just want a Lego what brand deal. Yeah, you have <laughs> yeah right I do. Um, I, just, I just need, I don't, look, I'm a simple man. I don't need much. I just want some new maybe underwear or something. Mine are getting holes in them. Yeah, underwear would be nice. Yeah. I reckon like, like a Bunsen burner. Cocoa Pops. You love Cocoa Pops. Or a oh, beaker, yeah. like a science oh. beaker. If somebody wants tube. to send me some basketball cards, I love that shit. Soap. Yeah, soap. No, I don't get soap. Oh, soap shit. All right. Well, anyway, there you have it. Uh, that's that's what, what we, we want. want. <laughs> Skin. But what you sh- what should they send them? <laughs> Just Instant whatever soap, they want. Maybe. You send us whatever you want. We'll yeah. open it live. You want to promote your business? You want us to... Inhale anthrax, whatever you send Michael a dead cockroach. Michael loves dead animals. Remember? Oh, I ate one. Yep. Anyway, fuck me. I'm fading, eh? This has been a been a crazy day. Yeah. It's been like I've worked so hard today. You left a line in me. (laughs) I left a line. All right, guys, let's finish off with a fucking prank call. Bathurst. Blake speaking. Yeah, g'day, Blakey. Um, look, my name's um Daz Darren, Darren, and um I'm just calling around to see if um there's any um job openings and that lock around any lock um car related stuff. Cause lock um yeah I gotta gotta get back out there, you know. Yeah, I was just calling um I was gonna do it all online that, but um I was just calling like, is there something that like will help me get um get get the job like more than um other cunts or like if I like um let you guys know more car knowledge and that does that help like does that does it help right that on I or done mechanic work and that first. Uh, it, it is definitely beneficial. Um, right. Put that in your application, obviously, because right. we do go through the list at the moment. With no worries. Hiring. Um, right. However, there are plenty of stores around the zone. Yeah. Right. All right. No worries. Well, look here. Um, if I am um, applying, my name's Darren. Maybe write that down, because um, yep. if you've got like um, yeah, if if you've put in a good word for me in that lock um. <laughs> Like I work hard, you know what I mean. Like I'm fucking. There ain't when I got a job. Like I'm hundred, hundred ten percent. I come in on time every day. Like I know my shit. Like I know what I'm doing. Sometimes, like sometimes I'm not like the best with people and that. And he's like putting complaints and shit. But like when it comes to fucking cars and shit, like no one knows cars. Like I do, you can't. I'm fucking telling you, you can't. Like I fucking my alarm clock's fucking uh, V8. Like exhaust and shit, can't. So like I'm fucking. Like I live and breathe it, can't you know what I'm saying? Like and and like fucking Bathurst, man. Like don't even get me started on Bathurst. Like I've talked for like honestly maybe two three hours about Bathurst. Yeah, no, stuff, buddy. Like I said, just put it in your application. Yeah, no nah, dramas, no nah, dramas, no nah, dramas. How many people you got working out at the moment? Sorry, I won't hold you. Up. Just how many, how, how many people you got working out at the moment, mate? Just so I can uh, get a bit of a gauge on which super cheap's probably best for me to apply to online. Yeah, you're right. At this particular store, we have 10 people at the moment. Yeah, right, 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 right. Okay, and how many of them's been mechanics before in that? Or has you just come in and don't, don't know that much about cars? Uh, majority, majority of them have mechanical not backgrounds behind right, them. Right, 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 right. No worries. All right, mate. Well, I might fill that application out, right? And um, yeah. what, what store is this one, mate? And what was your name again, mate? This, I'm, my name's Blake. This Wait is off. Cheap auto no worries. Right, right. Well, I'll say you was my reference, maybe. Wait off. If you don't mind, I might put you down some one of my references. And you, if anyone asks a boss asks or something, you just um, say, yeah, yeah, nah, Darren, he's good in that. He's had um, other mechanic jobs and that, and he loves Bathurst and shit. If you could just tell the manager that, if he sees my application, that'd be sick. Yeah. No worries at all, mate. You have a good afternoon. No right? worries, Wade. Also, I'll have to hear from you soon, brother. Have a good bloody Easter, mate. I'll come around next week on the bloody yeah, it's actually first shift together, mate. Come Tuesday morning. Too. No worries, mate. Have a good one. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did that happen, dude? I don't know, man. <laughs> you just got a job. <laughs> I think I yeah, Wade oh. is going to give me a reference. I liked his little giggle at the end. <laughs> yeah, right. You got a job then. 
thing. I didn't know how to keep that going, and I nearly fucking fucked myself, baby. <laughs> my brain slowed on yeah. a my brain slowed on a fucking eight year old cunt. I reckon you've got a job. <laughs> All right, should we call Greg and tell him <laughs> he's dead? Yeah, let's do two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Kind of keep them both in because the super chip was short, but it was fun. All right, so now we're calling out. Greg is our old boss. Like he coached us when we were like in high school together. So he's known us for a very long time. We've prank called him a few times, so he might know this. He might know that it's bullshit. We're trying to tell him that something he but knows. But it is a Friday We're afternoon. trying to tell him that somebody he knows right, is dead. You've you got to help me with this, Michael. You're, you're good at lying to him as well. Hello. <clears throat> hey, Greg, how are you? It's Ma- Marty here, dude. Sorry, my number's still on private, is it? Yeah, sorry, mate. Yeah, yeah. Oi, um, did you fucking see on Facebook he's dead? You haven't seen? He's not dead. Yes, he is, dude. Check on fucking Facebook. He is not dead. They just posted from his personal and there's like already 200 likes on it or something. Piss off. Dude, have a look on Facebook right now. He got hit by a cow. <laughs> <laughs> he got hit by a cow. Yeah, a cow in a cow truck? God, read a book, Greg. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> Craig, Craig, we oh, thought, did we, you think he was dead? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are the worst. <laughs> you guys are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have said something different, but I didn't want to convince you too much because I started to feel. Yeah, bad. no, that would have been so good. Do you reckon if you had to commit it to it's car then, not cow? Yeah, yeah. This is a prank call on the podcast, Greg. You're kidding me. <laughs> We got a bit lazy. <laughs> yeah, we've already done one, but we thought we'd call you and tell her <laughs> dead. I think I could have had you then. Well, you could have if you didn't say by cow in the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I fucking fucked a up. Dude, I wish you said truck. car. It would have been so perfect. Are you coming on the podcast? <laughs> it's like, it's oh, yeah. like the go-to crap like guy that just gets pranked. <laughs> Oh, we'll just prank him. Just prank all Greg. Tell him one of his co-workers is dead. His first was a kid, now it's his coaches that are dead. <laughs> really? Did we tell you? What? No, you... no. You like his first was the kids, like mums and parents. Oh, and like, right. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. True. <laughs> Wait, uh, are you coming on the? Do you want to come on the podcast one day? Not like next yeah, week, just... or just whenever you're free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll do it. Oh, oh yes. You can um, tell us we got sent pubes. Yeah, today. someone sent us pubes, and I knocked them out of Michael's hand, and they sprayed all over the floor. Oh no! What shaved pubes? Yeah, like a huge amount of pubes. That's, that's really nice of them. Yeah, our fans like yeah, they send us parts of that's themselves. Thoughtful. They're dedicated. <laughs> anyway, well, anyway, get this, get this. The other day, um, one of my coaches, one of our junior coaches, Oscar from school. Yeah. He goes. He got the names all mixed up, obviously, but he's like. Marty's um, because he was up at um these waterfalls. I think Michael must have been up there with, um, with Amber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, up at some like like waterfall or like or some like lagoon or something like you know like a natural Cedar one. Creek. Yeah, that sounds like that like, happened. Yeah, were. yeah, yeah. Anyway, he's like, yeah, mate. I um. <laughs> I swear it's him up here, like swimming in this um, whatever. I don't know. I was like, oh, yeah, probably is. I don't know. Um, but uh, yes. Anyway. Say <laughs> <laughs> your story, Craig. We'll, fu- we'll give you a buzz next week, brother. All right, bye bye now. Farewell, Mister Greg. Yeah, no. they stick around for like two weeks. Matt's wound is quite red and purple for those listening on Spotify. All right, let's go have an Easter. It's time for more clang. I didn't want to tell you guys, but I've hid chocolate eggs more. all around the house. You have not. I have. I did it before you guys got here. So if you go now and have a look, you'll find some. What, Easter eggs? Yeah. Oh, are they little Easter eggs? No, they're like that. Is it Kinder? Is it Cadbury? Just have a look around. No, you're lying. I refuse. Oh, Until he all right, I'll give one. you a hint. It's in the corner over there. All right, let's just say goodbye first. Or you want to do this on the podcast? No. I'm done. We're finished. All right, guys. Michael just wanted to say that. Michael, do you want to finish this up so you can go home to your... Give me half of that. Okay. Caramel milk twirls are better than normal original twirls. We're the best. We're the best. Come on, Matt. Within th- Sorry about our energy levels. Don't worry. We'll be back and we'll be so good.
next Tuesday. <laughs> Give us four days. We'll be so good. It's fucked up, cunt. We're mm. the best. We're the best. best. Can we're you say best. it today? I'll say we're the best when you guys commit more energy to this. We're the best. Weed. Everyone smoke weed. 